They see you do the, the Matrix move. You can't go all the way back? This is about it. <laughs> but like in my imagination, like a giant wiener was like passing over the top of me. I was like dodging it in the bathhouse. All right, y'all. I had a couple people hit me up in the comments like, Red Sick, you got to check out Carter, check out Carter, watch Carter. You know, I couldn't make it through Carter, man. See, watch Carter, see what you think. Look, whoo. Oh, I'm not going to lie to you. That was rough, man. Okay, I checked Carter out. If you don't know about Carter, Carter's a movie out on Netflix. It, it just came out. It was released August 5th, and it was all filmed in Korea, South Korea, North Chongchong province. I think I said that right. Did I say that right, Kenny? I have no idea. North Chongchong province is where it was recorded. And so what's the movie about, okay? All right, so this guy wakes up. He's got no memories, and he's got a voice in his ear and a bomb in his mouth telling him that, He's got to rescue this girl, this daughter of a famous scientist, and he's got to go rescue her from some agency, man. I don't know. The CIA was mixed up in it. I think the North Korean police are mixed up in it. I mean, I think everybody was mixed up in this stuff. I don't know. But they're in the middle of a worldwide pandemic, right? People are kind of like, it's not really zombies, but I don't know, zombie-esque, kind of. And he's got to go rescue this girl and then get her to her scientist father because her blood contains the secret to the cure for this in this new infection this new dmz infection or whatever and i'm gonna be honest with y'all i could not make it through the movie i could I, went, I did about an hour man i tried my best i could not get all the way through it i think the reason why i don't know if it was like just a difference in cultures or what but the fight scenes so the fight scenes were they were good they were fast paced they were action packed they they were good in the sense that they started out fresh they started out fast right into the movie, but the camera work was so jerky. I mean, the camera work was real jerky. That's not what we're used to in our American fight scenes. You know what I mean? Our American cinema is smooth, it's rolling. Sometimes we get like the slow motion or something, you know, like Matrix style, you know? I can't get my leg up that high, but you know what I'm saying, okay? It, we got our American style fight scenes, and this was definitely Korean style. Real fast, real jerky movements, weird pivot points. Camera work was definitely different, and that was hard to watch. And then the first fight scene happened in a bathhouse. I mean, like, I don't know what other countries got going on, but who wants to sit around with a bunch of other naked dudes in a bathhouse? And like one bath, they got these dudes like upside down, like they're gangsters, and they're like torturing these dudes in the bathhouse, but we're like in the bath with them, like while they're torturing them. Like, what kind of gangster wants to get naked with his torture victim and then get down to business in the bathtub with him? I, mean, I don't know. It was kind of weird. There was a lot of wieners flopping around in the first fight scene. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know what them Koreans had going on over there, but I wasn't really down with all that business, right? But I, I, I powered through. I saw all the wieners for you guys. I powered through it. I watched it, okay? So it's, there's a lot of knives. And, but I will say, those actors were brave because they were running around with their business hanging out and there was knives flying around all over the place. I mean, I know it's just a movie, but accidents can happen. You know what I'm saying? They could have, they could have Lorraine and Bobbitted somebody on accident, and that's it. You're just out of luck. It just happened. It's just done. It's, it's, boom, it's over. So that was kind, that was kind of off-putting a little bit, right? Camera work and the wieners. There was a lot to be put off by right there. So I, I, I kept rolling. I tried to put, I tried to tough it out, but the, the dialogue was just like, I, I don't know if that's a culture thing too, but like some of the dialogue was super cheesy. And I mean, I know sometimes in our action movies, they're a little over the top, right? Sometimes you get an action movie and a dude, you know, kills like 37 guys with his bare hands. Okay, that's a little over the top. I, I understand. But it looks cool and it sounds cool. And these guys are like, <laughs> see you at the office on Monday, Carter. <laughs> yeah, it was weird jokes. It didn't make no sense to me. I don't know. I didn't get it. So I guess this isn't really a review because I didn't finish the movie. But if you were, but you asked me to watch it and I tried. And I'm just going to tell you guys, don't, I know. I mean, unless you like gangster scenes in bathtubs, wiener out knife fights, and weird jokes that like belong in the set of The Office instead of an action movie? I don't know. Maybe that's your flavor. I'm not sure. Like, if that's it, check it out, I guess. But for me, for Breadstick, I would say no, this is not a, this is not a washer. I, I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't watch it. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. I tried, I didn't like it. Kenny G, so, I mean, do, do we give it a rating or no? What? Yeah or no? Sounds like you saw enough breadsticks in the movie. You don't need to give it another one. No, no. I mean, the rating for the movie would be like one breadstick. Like, don't watch it. But like, there's probably like 57 breadsticks in the movie. If you want to watch them. That's all I, that's all I can, that's all I got to say about Carter. Wieners. <laughs>